Everything heavy when we step up. You can't hang with a gang, you are fellow. Yeah, everything check, come Stella. Welcome, beautiful people. I am Chef B. If you're new to this channel, welcome, Wagwan. Make sure you are subscribed down below. In today's video, we'll be working with this hair from Westkiss.com. And the hair that we'll be working on is a 24 inch body wave in 200% density. So I'm just doing a quick shed test for you guys. I didn't get any shedding with this hair. So that is great. So I'm just going to keep running my fingers through it. And this is a HD transparent lace however the knots on the lace are still a little bit too dark and it could do with some plucking you know so that it doesn't look so full in the front so i am going to bleach the knots off camera just so that it looks more natural and also this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal now so i told you guys i bleached the knots off camera and i let it stay on a bit too long and i did over bleach my knot slightly so you will be seeing that in the video until i actually fix it so i'm going to show you guys a quick and easy way to fix your knots or your frontal if you accidentally over bleach now um to style the hair first things first um because i washed the hair you know when you wash um your units they tend to get fluffy depending on how you lay it to dry so i just lay it down instead of putting it on the mani head so it did um look a little bit poofy on the top so what you want to do is get some wax some hair wax some flyaway tamer and then get your hot comb and then just comb that baby right through and your wig will be laid okay it will look so natural now even though the knots are slightly over bleached i'm telling you it gives almost like a scalp like look but it still needs a little bit of touch up so that it doesn't look too obvious that it's over bleach especially in the front like but in the parting it kind of looks like scalp you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna do some plucking because as i said it was too thick in the front um you want your wig to look as natural as possible even though we know it's a wig you know it's a wig i know it's a wig you don't want it to look wiggy you feel me so i'm just gonna show you guys my method of plucking i'm not gonna do anything extra um basically this is something that almost anybody can do if you take your time i went a little bit wild just now because like i get impatient and like i just start going super fast with it it looks mad aggressive but i promise you it's not that bad now i'm just gonna go back in with my wax stick and wax stick for wigs you can find on the website that you purchase your wigs on or you can get it on amazon so once i put the wax stick i'm gonna go back in with the hot comb and just um comb the hair back so first I, I like make a parting first and then comb it back like you guys saw what I did there. Now this is how the hair is looking after I have hot combed the front. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some light oil on my wig. Like I use the same oil on all my wigs because it's lightweight and it doesn't weigh down the hair. It might look a little bit oily right now but I promise you once it's all done the oil just soaks up right into the hair. Now I will be doing some um, loose wand curls. So this wand iron I got from Amazon and um, I think it was like 20 something dollars. And basically I'm just going to do this to just create a light wavy look because when I wash the hair some of the wave came out so it doesn't look as defined obviously as it did straight out of the package so I'm just gonna go ahead and just create the soft body wave to give it a more uniformed look So this is how the hair is looking after I have finished doing my wand curls and it is looking fantastic if I do say so myself. Now it is time to lay the lace and I do the same method 
on um all my lace wigs they're basically the same thing even if i use a different type of product like either between the got to be freezing spray and the pump it up spurts like i interchange between the two it just depends on whatever my mood or whatever is closest to me so i just sprayed on the lace directly on the frontal and then used my blow dryer to dry that in to melt it and then just take my um, tail comb and just press it down to make sure that it melts nicely and flat and then I'm just gonna cut off the excess lace either with a razor or a scissors and I just go like jaggedy so I don't cut it straight across I just move my hand up and down so that it doesn't look too uniform because obviously you know the best type of frontals are the ones that are not straight across your forehead and then I'm just gonna go in with the got to be freezing spray um wherever I feel like I need to like melt down when I lift off the lace to cut it and that is basically it so you're just gonna keep going in until you get a satisfied look no i'm not a fan of got to be not got to be what i'm saying i'm not a fan of like ghost bound glues or other type of glues because i feel like they ruin your lace um quicker and also if you're like me you don't wear your wigs days on end it's so much easier to take off your wig when you use got to be freezing spray and it's lighter on your edges and on your skin it doesn't give you like that tan line that you might see so um yeah that is why i i'm gonna stick with my got to be freezing spray so i'm just gonna touch up with the pump it up spritz around the frontal and you guys see how easy and quickly that melts once i do um the pump it up on my fingertip and then touch it up on the the frontal then i'm gonna just tie this down and let it dry and then i'm just gonna play with the waves of this body wave hair and yeah that's basically it for the actual styling of the hair just brush it out and you know just whatever you want to do with the hair but look how uniform and nice the hair is it doesn't look frizzy at all now what the trick is to um help with the over bleach knots is you want to go in with some mascara and lightly just use the spoolie of the mascara and just touch up the edges this gives you so much control as supposed to as opposed to spraying dark dye directly on the lace because you know if you're not professional you and you don't know what you're doing you could mess up the lace so quickly and there might be no turning back with black dye so this is how it's looking i'm just gonna go back in with the mascara in the front and obviously if water applies to this it's gonna run off so you know you you want to stay away from 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 a rainy day okay girl so this is just a quick fix it's nothing permanent so if you're gonna take off your wig wash it you're gonna have to do that again so i'm just gonna keep touching up until i get the desired style and the look that i was going for was a new 70s well it can't be new if it's an old style so what i was going for is the 70s look with the shorter bangs in the front so i'm just gonna keep cutting and curling until i get the desired look Okay, I know I'm just going to create some slight baby hairs. Like, honestly, you don't even need to do all of this soup to doop action with the wig because it honestly, to me, later on, it looked better with it all pushed back. But, you know, in the spur of the moment, I was just like, okay, maybe I want to do a little bit of soup to doop but i changed my mind later on but if you want to do that you can just spray your grass to be freezing spray on your edge brush and then just brush that baby in and play around with it until you get whatever look you are going for
okay guys now this is the finished look let me know what you guys think about this here and this look i am absolutely loving and living for this hair it is so bomb don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't followed me already you need to go ahead and follow me okay on instagram snapchat and twitter at dom that's chef make sure that you are subscribed down below all the details that you will need for this here will be in the description box and i'll see y'all beautiful people in my next video go on big up on yourself bye guys everything heavy when we step up you can't hang with a gang you are fellow Everything check, come Stella. Let me 